All right, let's get her signed. And that's really all about confidence, and uh, I've been shooting the ball my whole life, so just coming here, and I mean, Coach Hoyt believed me in day one. Just coming here and shooting the ball so well. I mean, my teammates had all the confidence, confidence in me, so just being able to thrive in that system and just do what they do and shoot the ball so well, and at the next level, that's going to be key, so. That there is, in fact, a next level for Brandon Cracked, and a high one at that in Kirksville, is a credit to both the player and the coach and program that helped to get him here. That bridge to a better tomorrow that John Wood basketball again has proven to be. Remember, coming out of Clark County, all college coaches saw in Brandon were the potential drawbacks to signing a too short volume scorer. Fast forward to today, and a now elite Division II program in Truman State just signed Brandon instead on the basis of his beguiling strengths. The, the cool thing for us is he, we have these kinds of stories, right? Like, and, and this is the part of the job that I like as much as any is kind of those under the radar guys, sort of kind of where do they fit a little bit? And then, but because of personality, they fit. And, and it's no different in any area of, of life. If you find the right fit from a personality standpoint, your ceiling can raise. And so Brandon, we really feel strongly that this was the right fit for him and his ceiling continued to raise. He, he enjoyed that piece of it a little bit. He kind of excelled in that a little bit. And, and yeah, I mean, th th this is a great example of what our program attempts to do. And Brandon took full, um, full advantage of that. It feels really good. I mean, you said it perfect, uh, just proving people wrong. Uh, I had to come to John Wood to uh, kind of prove myself out of high school, and uh, I really didn't get the accolades that we really thought. And uh, so I was fired up to get here and just play for Coach Hoyt, and he always gets guys like this that just thrive in his system. And I just came here and just did what I did, and it's paying off now. We've been very fortunate the last couple of years to play around some of the right, the right teammates and the right mix of stuff. Um, but then he found his niche and he excelled at it. And so he, he learned pretty early on sort of what he needed to be really good at, what the areas he needed to continue to improve. And he, he stayed really good at the thing he's really, really good at. And I think kids lose that sometimes. They, they try to, they try to, to get, get too versatile almost, if you will. He, he focused in on what he was good at, and he worked in here every day. He was in the gym every day. He got himself in the weight room. He's gotten stronger, uh, which was a thing coming out of high school we knew was pretty important for him. So I think, I think when you combine that with the kind of the maturity and the way he thinks about the game, I think it gave, it gave Coach Horner, it gave Truman State, other, other four-year programs a chance to sort of see that side of him a little bit. Um, and he just excelled at it. So we're, we're excited for him and really excited for Truman State basketball. And it's clear that his John Wood tenure also taught Brandon the value of basketball fit as well, making the Truman State choice an easy one for him, even with other suitors in chase. I, that was the conversation that me and Coach Hoyt had before he even talked to me. I mean, we were just kind of waiting on that text or phone call. And, uh, I mean, I'm so excited. I couldn't probably find a better situation to go into. It's kind of come to John Wood, just the systems, just – perfect for me and uh, I'm just super excited to get over there and start playing for him. I mean you talk about square peg and square hole and, and 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 I told coach Horner early on like I just again personality around the office you're going to love him but I think from the basketball floor and watching them play enough I think you're going to really like him there and so and, and they, they feel the same so yeah again it's the fit um, sometimes guys try to get into places that don't necessarily fit and makes it an uphill, uphill battle. Um, he's going to have to work. I mean, that, <laughs> they're pretty dang good, and, and they do a really, really good job. But he knows that. He looks selling that. He's looking forward to that, and I can't wait to go watch him play.